When you apply for a home loan, you will receive important information that details the costs associated with getting a mortgage. One of the items you will receive when you first apply is called a loan estimate. Your lender will send you the loan estimate. Most lenders will send the loan estimate electronically, which means that you will need an email address for them to communicate with you. You may be wondering how to read the information on the loan estimate, and in this video, we will share what you need to know about the loan estimate. A loan estimate tells you important details about a mortgage loan you have requested. A loan estimate is a standard document you'll receive when you apply for a mortgage with a lender. The loan estimate, or LE, follows the same format, which makes it simple to read and understand. It includes three pages and lenders are required to send you a loan estimate within three days of applying for a mortgage. So what's included in a loan estimate? The loan estimate is three pages long and is split into sections which outline the terms, closing costs, and fees associated with your loan. Some of the items you'll find listed in your mortgage loan estimate include a summary of your loan details, which include your loan amount, the term of your loan, and your initial monthly payment. Your escrow account information, which includes your prorated annual property tax and homeowners insurance costs. Your estimated loan closing costs, including your lender fees, your title fees, and whatever third-party costs apply. While it's important to understand all the terms of your loan estimate, there are a few key sections you'll want to pay special attention to. Page one of the loan estimate is an overview of your loan terms and costs. You'll want to pay special attention to the date issued. The LE is only binding to the lender for 10 days after this date. Loan terms and type. Make sure these are the terms you wanted and that all loan estimates you can pair show the same information. Interest rate. Look for the rate, but also pay attention to page two, which shows you how much you have to pay in the form of points to get that rate. Estimated total monthly payment. This shows you how much you'll pay each month with principal, interest, taxes, and insurance included. Estimated cash to close. This number shows how much money you actually need up front, including your down payment as well as lender fees and third-party charges. Next, let's look at page two of the loan estimate. The second page of your loan estimate breaks down the costs shown on the first page. To better understand your interest rate and fees, you should look at points. This shows the dollar amount you have to pay to buy down your interest rate and actually receive the rate shown on page one. Application and underwriting fee. Lenders all charge different fees to process your loan, so you'll want to look at that. Services you can shop for. These are third-party services. They are not set by your lender, but you're free to shop for third-party providers. Calculating cash to close. This box shows you a breakdown of the cash to close shown on page one. Finally, let's look at page three of the loan estimate. Page three of the loan estimate has a few more key numbers, such as in five years, which shows how much you will have paid altogether and how much you will have paid off toward the loan balance alone in five years. APR. The APR represents your total loan costs over the life of the loan, including interest and upfront costs expressed as an annual percentage rate. Does a loan estimate mean you're approved? Receiving a loan estimate does not mean you're approved for a mortgage. The loan estimate shows you what loan terms the lender expects to offer if you decide to move forward. Remember, the loan estimate is issued based on an initial look at your application. You can get a loan estimate after providing your name, your income, the property address of the home you want to purchase or refinance, the property's value estimate or purchase price, your loan amount, and your social security number. At the time a lender sends a loan estimate, they haven't seen all the documentation supporting those numbers on your application. In other words, your loan hasn't gone through full underwriting. If anything on your application can't be fully documented, like your income, savings, debt, etc., your loan terms are subject to change. The terms on your loan estimate are 
also subject to change if there's a major change to your loan. For instance, if you change the term from 30 to 15 years or decide you want an adjustable rate mortgage instead of a fixed rate mortgage, only after the lender has fully reviewed all your documents will you be officially approved for the loan. So how accurate is a loan estimate? Although it's just an estimate, a loan estimate is very often a reasonable approximation of what your loan will cost. How do you get a loan estimate? If you don't have a home picked out yet, a mortgage lender is likely to give you a quote on possible costs. If you do have a home picked out, you can complete a mortgage application and get an official loan estimate within three days. Remember to work with your lender to find out about the best program, payment, and options for you and your needs. Thanks again for watching. We're here to answer any questions you have and help you through the mortgage process, whether it's purchase or refinance. Um, you can reach us directly at 615-400-6764, 615-400-6764. You can either call or text there. And we so look forward to answering any questions that you have and working with you closely. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.